Hello, thanks for joining me today. This is Danny and welcome back to my modded 1.9 series. Today we are going to be playing with a mod that is actually kind of new to me. Maybe you've heard it before, maybe you haven't. Um, it's called actually... No, that is Psy that, that we're doing next time. It is called actually additions. Whoops. I know I said we were going to play with Psy today um, and we are going to do that next time, but um, there's a couple of... Well, actually, Editions has a lot of really interesting uh, machines, blocks, and items. And it has a lot of them. Just like a really wide array of different kinds of things. And there's one thing in particular that I want today. And that is... This guy. The Experience Solidifier. As you can see, I have 40 XP. And I don't want to lose that. I don't plan on using it at the moment. Um... I'll, I do plan on using it soon, but I'm, I don't want to use it at the moment, and I don't want to lose it. So this, the XP solidifier will allow us to solidify XP. But as you can see, our crafting recipe has a lot of stuff that we might be unfamiliar with. <laughs> so we're going to get into the crafting mechanics of actual additions today. Um, we're going to make a experience solidifier and a couple of other interesting things. We're really just going to kind of scratch the surface of this mod because there's a lot. The first thing that we probably want to do is get our hands on one of these actually edition booklets. And all you really have to do to get it, I mean, you can use canola seeds and paper. Um, or you can just craft anything in act from actual editions and it will appear in your inventory. Kind of like the uh, Tinker's Construct, which, by the way, has materials in you. We have materials in you again. It's back. <laughs> Hooray! It is now in 1.9. And you also have access to the information in the Actual Editions Manual um, from JAI. So if we look, for instance, at the XP Experience Solidifier, um, if we look at these recipes, well, in fact, if we go to the other areas of JAI, we can see that... It's showing us the entry from the Actually Editions manual. And we can go right in there, and it'll open right to that page in the manual. And then in addition to the Experience Solidifier, I think I also want to make a coffee machine. Um, not really because I need one for practical purposes, but just because I think having a coffee machine would be really cool. So the first thing that we're going to have to make before we can really get into Actually Editions, so for instance, let's take a look at this Diamond... Diam diamatine crystal block it's made of all these diamatine crystals and if we we can see that obviously these can be made by each other but then if we look we can see that in order to make our diamatine crystal block we need a block of diamond um with the atomic reconstructor dun, dun, dun. And then if we just want to make the single diamite crystal, diamond, that crystal, then it's just a diamond in the atomic reconstructor. And a lot of our recipes are going to require the atomic reconstructor. Our advanced coil um, basically comes down to a bunch of crafting ingredients and then those redstone, well, redstonia crystals. So all these crystals we make with our atomic reconstructor. So here we have redstone. And then also, and then there's the block version of it too. So again, we have our manual for our atomic reconstructor. And it tells us <laughs> that there it is in action. Um, this is not just a block. It's not just a crafting block that you stick stuff in. Um, this, is, this involves some in-world crafting. This requires an iron casing. <laughs> and this is all crafting stuff. So... First, we need some black quartz, and we're probably going to need a bunch of that stuff eventually. So we set this down. It's facing me. You can see it's filling it with RF. The redstone mode, it says, is deactivate. So it's going to keep doing this at intervals and basically wasting RF because we don't have anything over there. So we can take a redstone torch and right-click on it, and then it changes. it changes it from pulse to deactivation. So pulse means that it will only work when it gets a redstone pulse. So I'll put a button on there. Um, deactivation means that it will stay on until it receives a redstone signal. So I'm going to keep it at pulse. And then I'm going to set up a bunch of redstone blocks here. And then we'll pulse it. Hooray! Now we have some redstone. 
Redstonia crystal blocks. So we're going to be using this a lot with this mod. Um, in fact, at some point we might even want to set it up. We might even want to set up some kind of automation, uh, maybe even auto crafting, where we can place the blocks. Because we do actually, actually, addition. <laughs> Actually, Actually Editions has block placers and block breakers and such, so we could theoretically use those to automate that process. We're going to need a couple blocks of diamonds. Oh boy. I need to get my quarry going again. Because <laughs> this is all of our... That's all of our diamonds? Okay, I guess I'm going to be... I'll do that off camera though. I'll get our <laughs> quarry up again. I actually have our... I had a quarry in the nether because I wanted, um, because I wanted a bunch of nether quartz. Okay, now what? I think, I think we're ready. We're ready. Oh, and by the way, the solidified ex XP, the solidified experience, that's actually what this thing produces. Um, so there might seem to be a catch-22 here, but there isn't, <laughs> because these are occasionally dropped by mobs. Wow, I have quite a few of them. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah, and you can basically right-click on these to gain the experience. Alright, so now we have our experience solidifier already. Oh boy. I'm actually going to put this up here because this is going to be our library. This is where all things XP related are going to end up up here. Let's place it right there for now. I don't care. We'll, we can always move it later. Okay, so let's see. What can we do here? 64, that's a stack. I took some of our XP. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. So there's 36 stacks in there right now. Oh, you know what? We, c we should just leave it in there. Can we? Wow. Oh, we can't. We can't put it back. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, wait. No, there weren't 36 stacks. Okay, so there's our XP. So now all of our XP is, is solidified. So we can do this to get our levels back when we need them. And what's great about it is um, we don't have to waste XP now. You know how the higher levels of XP require more XP points. Um, now we can just take as much XP as we need to do whatever we want to do. And save I'm the kind of far away from my base looking for some new, newly generated chunks because I did add actually additions later on. Um, but here's one thing that it gives us this wild flax. Mm -hmm. And that gives us some string and some flax seeds, which we can actually use to make oils. Um, what I'm really looking for is some coffee. <laughs> some coffee beans. And then we also have these black lotuses. Um, these are different, of course, than the Britannia black lotuses. These guys are actually for making black dye. So you don't have to run around killing squids if you have some black lotuses. Although I don't think you can replant them though, so you pretty much have to find them naturally, but they, they're pretty plentiful, and as far as I can tell, they're in just about every biome. I don't think they are biome specific. And I don't think the coffee is either, I've seen coffee everywhere. Look how beautiful this is. Here's some rice. <laughs> Rice you usually find on the edge of water, well, like in shallow water, on the edge of the shore. And you can use that to make, you get the seeds, you can plant them, you can make a garden of them, and you can use them to make um, paper and rice dough to make different kinds of food. We have some mash food, which you can actually use for compost, and I think you can eat it too. And then, actually, I don't know what you can do with the rice dough. Rice slime balls. And then rice bread. Oh, there we go. Here's some wild coffee. Hooray! So we just break this, and we get seeds and coffee beans. And the coffee beans we can use in our recipes for cop. That's a very strange place for ice. <laughs> our recipes for coffee beans, and I mean for like coffee. 
and coffee related stuff and the seeds of course we can use to grow more coffee. I'm doing some coal now. <laughs> okay, so that we can get some void crystal blocks. And I also needed some more of the redstonia crystals. So we need two of these basic coils. I think I made one already. And then I ran out. There we go. So there's a coffee machine. Hooray! Uh, I don't think this is going to cover that hole in the floor, is it? No, it's not. Oh boy. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can do about that. Well, <laughs> it turns out they are no longer microblock compatible. So I cannot put chisels next to them, so I had to put them in the block next to it. So <laughs> I guess that looks that looks okay. Although you can see the uh, you can see the wiring down there. But anyway, here's our coffee pot. So you can see it's filling it with RF. It needs some water. Um, it can carry. It can take up to four meg or four thousand millibuckets. That's basically four buckets. Okay. So I have <laughs> I I just made a little infinite water supply over here. We can, may as well fill it up with four buckets. Three. And four. So that'll get us eight cups of coffee. Then, let's see, we need a coffee cup. Aha. Okay, so an empty cup is just some stone and coffee beans. No, oh, empty cup. Stone and coffee beans, and let's see, we put that in here with some coffee, and then whatever we want to put in the coffee for whatever effects. So here's how the coffee works. Um, actually, we can just go here and go to the coffee machine. It's 150 RF per, per tick, 500 millibuckets of water, so that's a half a bucket, and uh, a few pieces of coffee, I can't remember how many coffee beans and then you give it whatever ingredients you want to give it based on what effects you want so we can give it milk and we can have milk with our coffee which increases the length of the effect sugar will get will give us speed um, magma cream gives us fire resistance and then water breathing so it's, it's really the same as a lot of the potions regen strength invisibility so why don't we just do a I don't know how about what what was strength again blaze I don't know if I want to waste blaze powder at this point but let's just do a bunch a couple pieces of sugar and some milk okay I'm ready to go here so there's our empty cup we can put some sugar in there and that'll bring us up it should bring us up to four and then when we add the milk, it's going to take one of the amplifiers away. So we'll end up with speed three, but for a longer duration. Uh, oh, yes, of course, we need coffee beans. Coffee beans, and I'm actually going to go plant those seeds. Because we will go through these coffee beans pretty quickly. You know what? I don't know how, much, how many coffee beans we need. Uh oh, I think we need more than that. 15, co 15 coffee beans. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have to uh, go harvest some more coffee beans. And, well, I'll probably just plant these and maybe bone meal them. I could actually make a greenhouse. <laughs> That's one thing that... Another block from Actually Editions is the greenhouse glass and if you put this above your plants it will actually make them grow faster so I just might do this what do we need we need the lapis thing so that's just a block of lapis turned into a crystal by our little machine down down there we've got plenty of lapis <laughs> there we go so now we have palest crystal box um, and then we'll just go like this Uh-oh. Some kind of a visual glitch there, but okay, whatever. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm right now I'm growing wheat, and we don't, we don't really need wheat. So let's just take 
and that was weird. We'll take that out and put in our coffee. Oh, did I put the coffee seeds in there? <laughs> Whoops. Oh yeah, I put the coffee seeds in here. Okay, the coffee beans go in here. Okay, so we have eight out of 300 coffee. So it's got a little grinder in it too. You put the beans in there and it grinds it up into coffee. And now I wanna put the seeds in here. And then we'll just get rid of these. I'm ready to make some coffee. I've got 14 coffee beans. Now we have 36 coffee. We have an empty cup. We have four sugar and one milk. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, the sound is not directional though. It's like no matter where I go, I hear it. Nice. Let's see how far away. If we go here, this then the sound just stops. Oh, it's done. It's done. What? Oh, it only took one sugar. Oh, it only takes one from each stack. Oh, okay. So what happened is it took a sugar and then it canceled the sugar out with the milk because you lose one of your modifiers. So what we have to do is go like this and then, oh, bummer. But now we can't. We have to start all over again. Okay. That's fine. We can just drink this coffee. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. We actually get three servings out of it. Okay. There we go. And then we have an empty cup. We can put it back in there. And I'm going to go down and get some more milk. This time we're gonna put them in four separate stacks and then the milk in our empty cup. We have, we still have enough coffee. Now we're gonna make some, make our coffee, hooray. Let's see how our coffee farm is doing here. I've got, <laughs> we've got the greenhouse glass and the fertilized dirt. So we should be growing coffee pretty fast. Mm, okay, so it hasn't harvested any yet. Interesting. Ow. <laughs> All right, now we should have something. Yes, cup of coffee. Speed three, two minutes and 30 seconds. Nice. So let's, uh, let's go somewhere where we can run around. Uh. Oh, well, that was a bit of a letdown. <laughs> what the heck? I was all, all set to get all wired up on coffee and nothing. Oh, this time I got it. Hooray. I don't know. Ow. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I took my leggings off. I don't know if that made a difference. Oh, wow. This is really fat. Oh, yeah. It's speed three. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Nothing like a little jog after a cup of coffee in the morning. Uh, so what happens when we put our leg... Oh. So somehow our Neotech leggings are conflicting with our coffee. <laughs> I didn't... Oh. There we go. Whee! Nice. Does it give us step assist, I wonder? I'll never know, <laughs> because we've got half slabs everywhere. Oh, here, let's check over here. Nope, <laughs> no step assist. And we get three doses from that. Nice. So it's really, I mean, it's kind of a nice, easy, and cheaper techy way <laughs> to, uh, to get potion effects. And like we saw, we can get all kinds of different effects. Not just speed. This is the one nice thing about swords in 1.9 as opposed to the mad talk or the axe or anything like that. <laughs> and this is just a vanilla thing. Any sword in vanilla, if you've got a bunch of mobs clustered together like that, it'll hit them all. 
She's not really doing a whole lot of damage, though. Uh, they all have bones. <laughs> or strings. These are like the nasty killer zombies every time a uh, skeleton or a spider ends up down in this hole. They must be killing him. I'm just down here actually getting some diamonds because I'm getting ready to make the... I actually ran out of diamonds. Getting ready to make the drill. And I think that's going to be our last actually additions thing today. Um, and in doing this, this mining, actually I set up my quarry. And, uh, and I kept running into gravel, you know. That's always the pain that you have to deal with when you're mining. And you have to switch between your your uh, pick and your shovel or in this case my hammer and my excavator and yeah it's kind of a pain so we are going to solve that problem soon and we only need three of the diamondite crystals or whatever they're called um, so I don't want to bother I don't want to waste a whole block of diamonds since it's all I have <laughs> so I'm gonna see I don't know how you do items if, if this let's see if this is how we do items yes this is how we do items hooray we need three blocks of iron As you can see, the drill is a little bit expensive, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> Boy, are we... Oh, we've, <laughs> we've got iron coming. No biggie. Okay. So I guess I don't have to set up these blocks like I've been doing. We can just go like that. Did that work? It did. Nice. Cool. And then I don't have to place them, and then I don't have to use my pickaxe to pick them up again. So we should be ready to go. Nope. What are we missing? Something in the middle. Oh, the drill core. Oh, oh boy. Okay. So we need four more of these basic cores. Two, three, four. All right. Which one is this? So I don't have to keep clicking twice. Oh, there it is. Okay. So the drill core and another one of those. Oh, and we need more. Oh, oh boy. Okay. <sighs> so it's a it's even more expensive than I thought. <laughs> We're going to need more iron. We're going to need four more iron blocks. Okay, there's our drill core. And now we are ready to make our drill. Hooray! So we, we got to give this guy RF. It's charging from our battery right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> Takes a lot of RF. Can we break trees with this? That would be really nice. No. So just dirt and stone. Nice. It's actually pretty fast. Like right out of the box. Wow. Nice. Compare that to my pick, which, let's see. It's a cobalt 20.36. And that's with upgrades. This doesn't even have any upgrades yet. Wow, nice. A whole bunch of upgrades we can give it. We can give it a speed upgrade. Speed 1, speed 2, speed 3. And then we can give it a silk touch upgrade. Which requires some diamonds and em <laughs> emeratic crystals. That's kind of expensive. And then we have the fortune upgrades. Which would be really nice too. Fortune 1 and 2. Oh, and 3. Okay. So it's Augment 2, gives Fortune 3, and then we have the Mining Augment 1, I think that does a 3x3, three three. and that's kind of what I would like. And then we have the 5x5. Five five. So let's let's start with a 3x3 three three, um, Augment, let's see, how much is that one? Requires these Inori Crystals, those are the Iron ones. Do we have any of those left? And we don't. Oh boy. We are running out of iron already, jeez. I just got a whole bunch of iron from our quarry. And I've, I've got our quarry running again because we're eating up resources like crazy. Okay, I decided to go with a speed upgrade <laughs> as well as the uh, 3x3 upgrade. So we shift right click to get our little upgrade slots. And there we have it. And we may, I don't know, we'll see how... How much power this thing requires now. It may run out of power quickly because it's going to be breaking a lot of blocks very quickly. 
But that's okay. Whoops, because we can add batteries to it. Oh, whatever, let's just, eh, eh let's go all the way down, because I want diamonds. Since I just used them all to make this drill. <laughs> to make this drill and to upgrade it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this thing, you can actually use this thing as a weapon, too. Oh, crap! Oh, well, at least he took care of the other one, and he only broke one block. Look at that. This guy's got a sword. No, he's got a bone! Another one with a bone! What is with that? I keep finding skeleton or uh, zombies with bones down here. Crazy. Yeah, I basically made a mob farm down here. Because <laughs> I haven't been doing so good at keeping my areas lit up as I've been mining. Oh, come on. Hey. Alright, anyway. Wait. Okay, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I like that. Compare that to the hammer, which I've got. I have just one level of haste on it. Yeah, it's a lot slower. Ooh, yay, more diamonds. Nice. And it, ooh. If we get enough diamonds, we can add fortune to this thing, too. Oh, boy. Good thing in the last episode, we made this. Oh, no, I want to keep that. Because now we can go like this and send everything back home. So here's that annoying thing that happens to you when you're mining. <laughs> Not so annoying anymore. <laughs> nice. The lie. Because I'm making another speed augment. So it turns out it turns out that the speed three augment wasn't making a difference. Um, it was going the same speed that it was going without the augment, and that is because you have to put the augments in order. So I put the So this is without any augments, which is pretty much the same as the way it was before. If you remember when we had the speed three in there, it's still the same. Um, but if we put the speed one in there, check this out. <laughs> nice, that's speed one. And then one and two. And then finally, the maximum speed. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. We could barely even run after this thing. Look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> nice. And it goes through everything. I like that a lot. <laughs> That's actually editions. This is the uh, fireworks box from actually editions. It just takes RF. You don't have to craft the fireworks or anything like that. It'll just produce fireworks for you and shoot them off randomly. Uh, I don't know where that went, but. It doesn't actually shoot them from the machine though, it shoots them like around it, which is kind of weird. So I guess I need to move it somewhere else. <laughs> nice. I have 24 experience again, so I can solidify it. Hmm. Let's solidify it into just a single stack. Let's see, so if I take this all, I should end up with 25 again. Let's see if that's true. No. Hmm. Seems that there's some loss. Well, that's interesting. So if I go all again, now I only get 45. 
Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's good to know. You don't actually keep all your XP when you solidify it. You, you tend to lose some. One other thing that I would really like to check out in the very near future are the um, AIOTs, which is all-in-one tool. All-in-one tool, yeah, AOITs. These guys, they're made with all the tools, all five of them, and they give you the functionality of all the tools, and they have a two attack speed. <laughs> which is faster than my Tinker's Manulin Broadsword with haste. That is only 1.92. Oh, and by the way, the uh, Manulin Matok has been nerfed. <laughs> it had the 4 attack speed before, and now it's down to 0 0.9. So it's really freaking slow now. And it used to be like really crazy fast, but now it's really crazy slow. I kind of thought that they would end up balancing that out eventually. I'm very talented. I can balance on top of a torch. So in the next episode, we are going to get into Psy, even though I really want to make one of these. I might make one of these in between episodes and then show it to you in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button and to join me next time. If you do have any questions, comments, or whatever, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.